Hello everyone, welcome to my guide on how to install the Digibit VPN on an Amazon Fire device. Uh, this is a Amazon Fire TV, but this also works on Amazon Fire TV sticks. Bear in mind, Gen 1, there's mixed reviews whether or not if it will work. I've got a Gen 1 device and I've had it working. In fact, this is the second device I'm uh, getting this to work. First of all, what you need is Fire DL. You see at the bottom right of my screen here, I've got Fire DL, but I'll show you how to get it. What you do is you go up to the top left here. I do apologize as well, I am recording uh, my screen because Amazon Fire TV has got a protocol called DHCP, which basically means I cannot directly capture it. I need a, another workaround. I may re-record this video once I've got that workaround. So what you do is you search Fire, D L and then you see at the bottom there so you got Fire DL app so I'm just going to click Fire DL and then it comes up the uh, app that, that you want and there it says download it obviously it's already downloaded so you click download queued downloading install it actually no this wasn't already downloaded I, I do apologize it's the first time I've installed it on this actual device so now we want to hit open and then at the top there, you'll see um, file URL with a link of what you want to do. So what you do is you open up and you dial in 300, 0, 0, 000. So another three zeros, one, two, three. So 300,000, as soon as you do that, you'll see that the link is on the top there. Click next. And then you'll see it will download. It's pretty quick, it's a relatively small um, file and then it will swoop, come on camera, focus in, it will then give you some instructions. At the bottom here you want to go across to install, click install, it will be installing now and then it is done. You can either click done at the bottom here or open. I'm just going to click open but this is up to you. Once you're in, you're basically greeted with a screen. So you've got your username, password, and sign in uh, just below it. So what you do is you go into your username and you punch in the username and password that Digibit email you. This is not the account that you signed up with on the Digibit website. Uh, once you've signed up, you basically click buy it now. Uh, the Digibit VPN is £2.50, but there is two discount codes which you can use either of them to get an extra 20% off, which makes it uh, £2. The first one is Stream VPN, and the second one is Cody UK TV. I'll leave a link to both of the websites down below. Cody UK TV is a brilliant um, application for uh, basically anything to do with Cody. There's a Facebook community, brilliant website, and a forum community as well there. So I'll just install my uh, details and I'll be right back. So once you've got your email and password signed in, remember they send you your password to your email address, it's not the password that you signed up to on the website. You hit sign in just below it and then you're greeted with a screen. So right now you can see this sort of like a little bit of a halo, if I just got my finger in it, up the top left here around this uh, button here. So that's where we currently are. If we click um, the middle touchpad, you've got a couple of different options here. So you've got home settings, Digibit TV, your support, terms of service, so if you want to look at any of that. If you have a look into settings, at the top then you've got, okay, camera, camera, uh, all right, sorry about this. Like I said, I'm recording on the screen. I may do this once I've uh, got a way of recording it another way. But then, okay, so at the top, we have, um, so you've got your support information, the Digibit website, as well as uh, their email address. Now down below here, we've got security, protocol TCP and protocol UDP. Now at the, f at the right of it, you'll see that UDP is by default. I always keep it at that, but if you want to change it to TCP, you can just go down to the TCP option and select it. So you can see now I'm on TCP there. If I click that, it changes over. It's like a little circle around it, but I want to keep it on UDP. You can see uh, sort of like there's a circle around. So we'll click that, that moves over. The start Digibit 
on Android Star is not yet implemented, but it is coming very soon. And then obviously at the bottom, you've got your Facebook Connect, uh, Google Plus and Twitter Connect if you want to do any of that. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the last screen. Uh, yeah, so we'll go uh, up to the home, you can see there. And then what we do is you click down, there's no actual thing around the top. So what I do is always click up, you can see the circle is at, at the top there. So if you go all the way up, now if you click down once, we're on select server, click down again, we're on connect. So we wanna go back up to select server, and then you can see now where the options are across. So you've got uh, servers in Canada, France, there's four of them in France. You've got Germany, there is three normal, well, actually four normal, and two um, RD, that's real deep red. Well, actually, you've got a couple more in Germany. This is new, actually, they've added some extras since I last had a look. Uh, real deep red in Japan, uh, we've got Miami, USA, Again, I think that's a new one actually. Um, a couple of Netherlands. I always go to the UK one since I am in the UK and um, I just use it to mass. So there we are, we're on UK one. So I'm gonna select that. You can see UK one, click down again and click uh, connect. So this message will now come up. It's basically saying that you, know, you need to accept this if you want the VPN to activate, you get a key at the top left or you can cancel it, this is completely up to you. And now you can see where it's all connecting and job done, we are now connected. If you want to test the IP, you can do so, there's many different ways to do that, but I can show you this is now connected. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and comment below and tell me what you liked about it. If you disliked it, hit the down button, your know, thumbs down and tell me why you disliked it. Um, again, I'll probably end up redoing this video when I find a way of uh, getting around the uh, HDCP. And uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon if you want to get notified of future videos. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao for now. Hey all, back again. Right, just a quick one. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention. With the Fire devices, now and again you'll get a pop-up across the bottom of the screen, basically saying that the Digibit is trying to reconnect. This is normal, it is always connected, so this is normal. What you wanna do is, across the top here, go across the settings, go down to notifications, click into it, and now you'll see on the left-hand side, um, the Digibit uh, one, you can see it's flickering by there, this is uh, what I'm on about. On the, button, on the controller, you have these like three little dots by there, if I can, click that, now on the right hand side, if I just get the camera focus, you've got this slot by here. What you wanna do is go down to manage, and now you'll see the app notifications. What you wanna do is just disable the Digibit VPN notification. So just click the middle button, and it does say off, if I can get the camera focus, and that will basically stop the pop-ups. So I just thought that'd be a little helpful tip for you. And it is still connected. So don't worry about it. It is still connected. If I go into Digibit by here, uh, it will load up. And you can see at the very bottom there, connection time, five minutes, 47. So um, yeah, hopefully this is helpful. Again, uh, everything that I said on the last clip. Thank you for watching and ciao for now.